first of all, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'm appreciating this a lot. And it's been almost a year since we saw you for the last, uh, your, your last performance in the ring. So how do you feel? I'm excited to, to be back in the ring. It's been 11 months. Um, I, um, I just feel more than 100% ready. And, and even though I've been out of the ring for 11 months, I still have been in the gym working on, on different things and making myself better. I've been sparring to keep myself sharp. So it's been um, a long 11 months, but I've, I've still been, you know, stay, staying in shape and, and making sure that um, when I do come back, it's going to be even better than the last fight. Yeah, I don't, I don't currently say this, but I'm a fan of your style. I'm happy to see you back on track because you give to all of your fans a really, really cool performance always. Um, it, it's, it's amazing to see you back now. So before this challenge, um, we are going to imagine that, that um, you win, you know, because we can't look forward to any opponent. So imagine you win. What's the next for you? Will you stay in the uh, minimum way? Um, well, thank you. And um, yes, I do want to stay at minimum weight because I want to um, win all of the bouts there first. So I would like to fight um, for the WBC World title against the German champion who's from Germany. And then after that, hopefully unify with Yokosta. And then um, once I am undisputed at 105, then go to um, light flyweight and be undisputed there as well. And uh, imagine you, you can achieve this. Will you move to flyway to try to do it again? Yeah, I, I want to. After, after minimum weight and light flyweight, I do want to go to, um, to flyweight as well. So my goal is to uh, be undisputed at those three weight divisions. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Um, what about your rivalry with the current WBC and WBA champion of flyweight division, Marlene Esparza? Are you fully open to fight with her again? Yes, definitely. I know it's a, it'll be a big fight and it's a fight that boxing fans want to see. Um, everybody really enjoyed our first fight, so I would love to, to fight Esparza again. Hopefully she keeps winning and gets all the bouts so we can have um, a big fight and I can take all the bouts from her. <laughs> You're going to fight three minutes again? I, I am going to try to fight three minutes each fight. Um, it, is, it is tough because sometimes the opponent doesn't agree or the athletic commission doesn't agree. So I know they will allow you to if the, the bout organization, the athletic commission, and the opponent all three agree, then you can. Um, so when I was with Golden Boy, I was, no matter what, I was asking, I was, I, I was having them ask every fight for three minutes. Um, and most of the time the opponents didn't want to do it. But I'm gonna, I want to keep trying every fight no matter what because um, I would love to fight three-minute rounds every fight. I'm, I'm all for that. I wish it would change. I think um, we need three minutes. It would be just even more exciting fights and better fights with three minutes. So um, I definitely want that each fight. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Yes. Um, is there not a lot of fights that are in three minutes? Uh, I think if you... If you have the Undisputed World Championship against Shoka, she fought three minutes round. So it would be amazing to see both fight three minutes, both warriors. Um, a couple of months ago, I, uh, I made him an interview, made her an interview. Um, she told me that she has been trying to fight with you for a long time, but she couldn't. Is that true? Um, yes, we actually wanted her as an opponent before. Um, and we both want to fight each other, but the reason why it hasn't happened is because when I was with Golden Boy, I didn't want to fight her for how much they were offering me. And, um, she wanted more money as well. So she didn't want to take the fight because she wanted more money. So both of us wanted more, which is why, um, we didn't, we haven't fought each other. It's not because we both don't want to, we both want to, it was just, um, the money was the issue. So, you know, now hopefully, um, 
with with top rank where it will be able to give her what close to what she wants or something that she is happy with to accept the fight and we can do it so um uh, it'll be a really good fight so i'm looking forward to to fighting Acosta. right now um i think women's boxing is in the best moments ever um well, right now we have four undisputed world championship uh, katie taylor um Chantel Cameron, Jessica McCaskill. Oh, there are three. Oh, yes, three. Ah, no, Clarissa Shields, sorry. No. Yeah, four. Clarissa Shields, four. So, what do you think about what women are doing for this sport? I think it's so good. This year has been amazing. It started with Katie and Amanda Serrano. Um, I remember being there front row and I was so excited. I could not believe how many people showed up for the fight and how, how the crowd was. It was just, um, it was amazing. It was like, if we weren't even at a women's boxing match, it was, it was just as great as being at, you know, a, a, a men's boxing match. So, um, it, it was incredible. And it's great to see that women's boxing has had all the biggest and best matchups this year. Um, and next year is going to be even bigger and better and the year after that and the year after that. So um, we're, we're here to stay for sure. Do you think that women are in a good position to say, hey, I want the same that the men has? I mean, I think we have a long way to go for that. Um, but at, but at the same time, we have made a, a big breakthrough as far as what we're making now. So we just have to continue to just show and, and prove that we can we can put people in the arenas and they want to watch this fight. They're going to show up for the big matchups, um, just like they did for Katie Serrano and for um, uh, Clarissa and, and Michaela when they fought. Um, you know, the, the, the stadium was filled and people showed up for them to support them. So I think... As long as we just continue to um, make women's boxing rise and show that um, we're we're doing our part, then the the money situation will get better. For I mean, it's before you told me that you really would like to fight against Shokabashi. Uh, she's right now she's going to fight against my compatriot uh, Evelyn Bermudez in like flyweight division. Are you fully open to move? to light flyaway to fight with her or you will be waiting for her in minimum way to fight against her? Um I I would I would want to do it at minimum weight, but um I mean so so I beat Tenkai Tsunami for the WBO world title and then it was vacant. So now Bermudas has it. So um I know that you can't fight at WBO has a rule that you can't fight at two you can't hold two titles in two divisions. And, and um, you have to let go of one, which is why I had to vacate the 108 and I went to 105. So if your Costa wins, I'm not sure which weight she's going to stay at or which bout she's going to vacate. But hopefully it's 105 because that's where I want to um, be undisputed first. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Um, just one more question. Um, it's it's a question that I I I always ask to the fighters. I love this question. Is what do you feel when you are walking down the ring? When I'm walking to the ring, I get I get so nervous before, but as soon as I'm walking out to the ring, it all the nerves go away, and I just feel just ready, just ready. I think that's that's the best way to describe it. Just ready to go in there and um do everything that I trained to do in training camp so and, and it's been a long time since I had that ring walk so I'm in, I'm excited to you're fighting against Hasmin Hasmin Bicharino so what do you expect of that fight she's a good fighter in Argentina we have one of the best uh boxings you know the fighters here I thought are though so what do you expect of, of that fight yeah, Argentina has good fighters. They have good, um, good female fighters. And I think I expect Jasmine to come in and, and be a tough opponent. I've watched her fights and, and she's tough. She comes to win. So I know she's going to come in a hundred percent ready to, to try to, to beat me. So, um, 
I, I've seen fights where she's aggressive and then I've seen a fight where she moves away. So I'm not really sure what Jasmine to expect on fight night, but I've just been preparing for both. So I think with my style, I'm able to adjust very quickly and easily to what my opponent does. So I'm just going to um, go in there in the first round and just take it, take it how I see it the first round. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Um, you are the co-main event of Johnny Vick. So that I'm pretty sure that you are going you are going to steal the um, the night with my with my compatriot. Will be an amazing fight. Um everybody is excited to see you back on track. So thank you so much for this uh for this tag. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.